people, get over it. By the time these young people get ready to have children, they will realize that as the hole in the ozone layer gets larger and larger, more and more sunlight is allowed to enter our environment, and more and more people who have pale faces are going to die of melanoma, which is a skin cancer that you get if you don't have enough melanin in your skin. Let me tell you, people of color are going to be very much in demand for reproduction in the future. And mark my words, you're laughing now, but you wait 20, 20 years. You won't even have to wait 20 years because they're going to see that if they want their children, their grandchildren and their great grandchildren to survive, they're going to have to have some melanin in their skin. That's the way it's going to be. This is going to take care of itself. Black guys or white guys? Black guys. Okay, can you uh, elaborate as to why specifically black guys? Yes, black guys are melanated and I want my children to survive. <laughs> and I know that the only way for them to survive in the future is for them to have melanin in their skin. So that's the way for me to, you know, make my legacy continue. What in the world is going on with these Karens? One minute, they are calling cops on us, harassing us in front of our own homes. And now, to hear this latest agenda of these Karens? This Karen said that her children need melanin in their skin in order to survive and that she made a calculated decision to have children with black men. Is this the reason why we are seeing the push for mixed relationships in the media? More specifically, white men and white women pursuing the brothers and sisters from our community? Have you noticed the push for white men to mix with our sisters? I believe this is an attempt to ensure his seeds survives. What's more disturbing is knowing that there is an increase of men and women from our community bleaching their skin to be accepted by the very people who need us to survive. So what's your thoughts? Please be respectful with your responses. But before you post your reactions, click the like and subscribe to the channel. Listen, Genesis chapter 11 verse 10 explains the genealogy of Shem. Shem was a black man in Africa. If you repeat this back, Genesis 14 verse 13, Abraham steps on the scene. Being a descendant of Shem, which is a fact, means Abraham too was black. Abraham, born in the city of a black man, called Nimrod, grandson of Ham. Ham had four sons. One was named Cain. Here, let me do some explaining. Abraham, Isaac was the Jacob had 12 sons, for real. And these were the children of Israel. According to Genesis chapter 10, these were the children of Israel. Genesis chapter 10.